Blah. <laughs> Finally got around to changing the pads on the swamp cooler here at our Death Valley compound. The water wasn't really smelling too funky uh, for the past few days, and it's been working fine, but there was a lot of uh, mineral buildup on the outside, and we just figured it was time. So we didn't do a very thorough job cleaning this off, because to be honest, we intend to buy a new swamp cooler, a newer, more efficient one. Um, but we're waiting till mm, sometime this winter when they go on sale. Huh? But for now, uh, we're probably only gonna use it for another month or so. We thought, let's at least put in new pads, scrape off some of the calcium, and well, it looks a lot better, if I do say so myself. I mean, we really went to town with these wire brushes somebody sent me, and a wire barbecue grill brush, and well, we did what we could, but unfortunately, I think the guy who sold us the house probably wasn't as diligent with his maintenance as he could have been. And that's fine. Like I said, we're planning to get a new cooler anyway, so this ought to last us for <laughs> at least the next month. I mean, it's uh, today's September 25th, and it's hot. It's still hot. It's like probably in the upper 90s, but, you know, inside the house, that brings it down to the 80s, and then with the swamper on, it's been like 75. It's been nice, so it's almost going to be time to shut the swamper off for the season anyways. <laughs> Here's the newest addition to our mannequin family. <laughs> Sitting here on the bench in front of the old casita. Her legs are over there, but she's still looking mighty fine. Okay, well, we've been really busy just working, trying to fix stuff around the property. <sighs> We're tired. We figured we need a break. My birthday was a few days ago. My sister wasn't able to be here to celebrate it with me. So we decided to go into town today and take a little break. Well, actually, we're not even really taking a break. We have to go to Home Depot and get some stuff. But there also happens to be the world's biggest ice cream cone in the little town closest to where we live. And, well, since we have to go into town anyway to go to Home Depot, we thought, let's take a little break and go get a delicious ice cream at Seymour's Polar Parlor. Okay, first, let's turn the swamp cooler back on so that the house is nice and cool for us. When we get back, it's closed up to keep the dust out. So I gotta plug her in first. First, I gotta turn on the pump and let that run for, oh, a few minutes to get them pads nice and saturated. That's the way these things work. Uh, there's a pump inside that sucks water from the bottom and the water's fed in via a line from our water main. Uh, and so the pump flows up, saturates all those uh, aspen wood pads that we just changed. And then, well, after a minute or two of my standing here yakking, we'll turn the fan on and it'll blow air through those nice, cool, wet pads. And, well, it ought to feel pretty good. Okay, that should be long enough. Let's see how nice and cool and fresh it blows now that we've changed the pads. Ooh, it does. It smells like Colorado. All that fresh aspen. Okay, I'll add one of these fresh air tablets into the water too on the way out just for extra goodness. All right, got all our errands done, and it's finally time for some delicious ice cream at the world's biggest <laughs> ice cream cone, Seymour's Polar Parlor. Oh wait, my bad, it's the world's tallest ice cream stand, not the world's biggest ice cream cone. Whoopsie. Uh, I decided to go with a real fruit pineapple, and my sis got a, you got, did you get a smoothie? No, I got a shake. Oh, a shake. She got a Thank peach you. shake. Yeah, I guess I don't really have to wear this since we're outdoors. <laughs> but yeah, check this out, man. Oh, my sis got hers. Mine's next. <laughs> it's a castle with a giant soft serve on top. Kind of looks like a dog doo-doo. Mmm. <laughs> Doesn't taste like dog doo-doo, though. Uh-oh. Power's out. <laughs> Thankfully, I got my trusty headlamp and all my other camping gear. Ugh. We came back from town. We were just uh, doing some more work. I was 
Well, I had just settled in and was almost done caulking all the cracks in the hallway when the whole house went pitch black. <laughs> I mean, you can see how dark it is in here if I cover up my headlamp. But you think it's dark in here. What do you see how dark it is outside? Unfortunately, my sis and I both have our trusted Jackery power stations. So we can charge our, you know, headlamps. We can charge our, I mean, maybe we can power a fan because it's getting kind of hot in here. And well, we can charge our phones and laptops and tablets, but they don't really do us a whole lot of good because we don't have, there's no cell signal out here. And so the only way we can get connected to the internet is uh, with uh, over the Wi-Fi. And because there's no power, <laughs> there's no Wi-Fi. So we're, not only is it pitch black, dead silent, we're completely cut off from civilization. You know, like if the power goes out, you can at least, you know, text your neighbor like, hey, did the power go out of your house too? Well, we can't even do that because there's no cell signal out here. You know, none of the neighbors have cell signal. We don't have cell signal. No one's got Wi-Fi. It's wild. Okay, speaking of wild, when I uh, hide my headlamp, look how dark it is out here. <laughs> Can't see anything. That's the open desert back that way. <laughs> That's the house that way. And then this way, oh, well, you can see we do have some solar lights uh, around the perimeter of the house. Those are the only things that are still on. But there's my rig. I'm tempted to jump in it and drive back to town. <laughs> okay, but uh, I'm going to climb up and show you the view over the hill here. Got to be real careful walking around in the dark. No telling how many scorpions and snakes are out here. Climb up the wall a little bit. Okay, now looking this way. Well, you can't see anything. There's a few lights there in the distance, but there's a bunch of houses out there. And there's campgrounds, RV parks, little resorts. It's all dark pitch black and if my camera was better oh my god the stars are amazing now to be honest it's a huge relief to see that everybody else's power is out too and i think there's only about 70 ish people in town right now and that's spread over a big area so in our immediate area there's probably only about 30 40 people uh, but i have seen a couple flashlights moving around and so you can see the power is out everywhere uh, it's kind of, I guess, comforting to know. <laughs> well, it's comforting to know that it's not something wrong with our breaker box. Because, <laughs> oh my god, that'd just be another puzzle to solve. And, well, it's been a long day of puzzle solving. And, gosh, we were just getting ready to have dinner, take a shower, and go to bed. Which, I guess, is good timing in a way. Because my sister had just finished cooking dinner. <laughs> so dinner's ready and waiting for me. I guess I'm just going to go in the house and eat dinner by the light of my headlamp try to plug a fan in to my sister has the bigger jackery i gave her the oh i have the 240 and she's got the whatever the next bigger one is so that should be enough to power a fan all night i would think and hopefully we'll be able to get some sleep because it has been a doozy of a day and this just puts the icing on the cake I mean, talking to some of the neighbors, uh, apparently this happens every so often, the power goes out here. And sometimes it happens in the middle of summer when it's really hot. Like, can you imagine if it was 110 degrees right now and the air conditioning went off, the swamp cooler went off, everything? And sometimes, it, well, according to one neighbor, uh, it's stayed off for a couple days before. And it's really dangerous, you know, not just for your health, but, well, your refrigerator, I think all the food in your refrigerator will stay good for maybe a day if you don't open it and so like I said my sister already cooked dinner we don't need to open the fridge so everything in the fridge should be okay as long as the power comes back on within 24 hours I also have the biggest jackery uh, I can't remember what the number of it is but like the, the really big one and according to the manual it says it'll power a refrigerator for seven hours unfortunately I haven't moved that out here yet. it's still back in Vegas so fingers crossed this is just a short power outage I can't imagine why the power went out it's not, it's a little breezy, but not super windy. It hasn't been super hot, so it's not like the grid is being stressed out. Ugh, if this is one of those four day power outages, I'll be very tempted <laughs> to get in my car and go back to my house in Vegas, <laughs> which is only 90 minutes away and probably has working air conditioning, a refrigerator, and hot water. That's another thing because we, our water's on a well, right? It's operated with an electric pump. So the pump's not working. I don't even know how much water we have to use. I mean, I washed my hands 
And I was hoping I'd at least be able to wash my face before I went to sleep. Because I'm pretty grimy from working. Who knows? Stay tuned to find out what happens next in Death Valley Life. <laughs> Okay, unfortunately, my headlamp <laughs> ran out of juice, so I'm charging it on the Jackery there. Fortunately, my laptop has a full battery, so I can do some editing while I eat my dinner. But unfortunately, before I do any of that, well, I gotta pee. And because we don't have no electricity, we have no pump, which means we have no water, which means I can't flush the toilet, which means I gotta go pee in the front yard. Fortunately, we got plenty of property to pee on. <laughs> I'll just go out here in the backyard and no one will be the wiser. That's country living. Yay, power's back on. Wow, that was wild. It was out for about 45 minutes. And well, thankfully we have all this camping gear so we were more or less prepared. Uh, it was kind of weird. We're not really sure how it works with the pump. Um, I mean, I did, I washed my hands in the kitchen and the water pressure seemed fine, but I did it real quick, you know? <laughs> and then we, we opened the fridge once to put some of the stuff back in after dinner, but then we left it closed. And then thankfully we had plenty of headlamps in our power station, so, oh my gosh. I've never been so happy to have this little Jackery in my life. That being said, we should probably make sure we have an operational generator handy for future situations like these.